My name is Rachel Harima, and um, as you can see, I'm an herbalist and a home gardener, and I eat weeds. Um, and I've been eating weeds since I was a kid, and uh, I think it's uh, a good time and something to learn because it um, deepens our connection with the world. Good. So I just want to pause for a minute and dedicate um, our time together and my preparation that I put into this um, for the restoration and healing of the planet. And if that's something that you're up for, just nod your head or say yes or something like that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Holy basil. And that, yeah, this is my holy basil. I grow holy basil in the garden. Um, so, uh, and then just to breathe for a moment. Breathing is good. And that's a real connection um, with the plants as well. We exhale carbon dioxide and take in oxygen. They inhale carbon dioxide and exhale oxygen. So we are always in relationship with our plant friends. Okay. So here's our agenda for the day. I'm going to tell you a little bit about me and then um, why anybody would want to eat some weeds. What are the weed eating rules? Um, a little bit about flavor theory. Um, so that, you know, because we're eating these, right? So it matters what they taste like. And then um, a list of the 14 most common weeds, some of the weeds that I enjoy and eat. And then I have a resource list, and um, we'll do some discussion and Q&A. Um, right after our time together is um, shopping time, which there's a good um, space for that. Um, so what I may do, um, because I prepared a lot of information, I may just push uh, discussion and Q&A into um, post wrap up time, OK, if we're running short on time. Um, so I hope that's okay with you all. Okay. So, oops. So about me, you know, I, I grew up in Iowa. I was a little kid in Iowa, and my mom was of the type where if we got too rowdy inside, she would say, go outside and play, you know. So I would, and my, my little dear friend across the alley, Christy, um, she and I would just ramble, and we basically were like, here's the block, don't go across the street, but any place in there you can play. And, and we would just like hang out in the sunshine and in the yards and roll around and things like that. And so I got to know the grass really well and what was growing in the yards and what was growing in the alleys and what was growing. And um, so my two earliest herby, weedy memories are one, dandelion, right, right? And there was two ways that we would play with dandelion. One is you'd take a flowering dandelion and you'd like try to pop it, you know, and see if you could pop it at somebody and hit them and things like that. So that was fun. And then the other thing that you would do with dandelion, blow on them, right? So you'd blow the seeds and everything like that. And then the second was um, one that I didn't know the name of for a long time, but it's yellow wood sorrel. Do folks know yellow wood sorrel? We'll talk about that a little bit more later on. But it's like, it looks like a little clover. It's got a pretty little teeny yellow um, uh, flower. And it's sour as anything. So Christy was like, you could eat that. You can eat that. So I ate it. And I was like, ah, it's too sour. Because <laughs> as kids, we have a very delicate palate, right? So those are my two earliest memories of being a childhood weed eater. And I can tell you more stories, but that's about that. Um, I'm also a Reiki master. So uh, I have a sense of the energy of things, oftentimes. And just as we all know the difference between a grocery store tomato and a homegrown tomato, so there's a difference between um, greens that you would buy in a grocery store and something that you would pick right off your land and put into your salad and eat, and the amount of flavor and the amount of energy and aliveness that's in that. Um, home gardener. I am a home gardener, but I also work full time. And so, you know, the weeds just get away from you. And suddenly, all the weeds look so much better than everything that you've been tending and babying, you know, for a while. So I was like, well, okay, I, I, I guess I better eat that one, you know. Um, and then as an herbalist, I'll get to that for a moment. And then right now I'm studying to be um, uh, for my master gardener certificate. So there's a lot of work there around botany and plant identification and things like that. And that's really kind of steered me even more directly into, okay, what are these things that we're calling weeds? And um, what are their uses? And how are they friendly? And um, you know, uh, what can go into the compost and what needs to be um, dried out and thrown out, things like that. So as an herbalist, um, I really was like, wow. 
everything that they're talking about as being medicinal herbs are weeds you know, that I've seen in the woods, that I've seen on a path, that I've seen on the roadside, that I've seen in my garden. So this is burdock. It's a pretty, don't you want to eat that? <laughs> um, it's gorgeous, I think. Um, so burdock, chickweed, dandelion, elder, mullein, nettle, oats, plantain, red clover, St. John's wort, yarrow, all these things that are roadside and garden weeds, they all have really powerful properties for our well-being. <coughs> 